Well, let's talk more about the BRICS summit, which officially begins on Sunday. And Egyptian President Abdel Fattah El Sisi will be attending that summit, even though Egypt is not a member. Let's get you some perspective now. Ahmed Sufi joins me from our Cairo studios. He is an economic advisor to the Egyptian cabinet. Ahmed, thank you for joining us broadly. What do you expect to see the BRICS summit next week achieve? Well, I think it's a very good social gathering and continuing the relations and increasing the relations between uh, Egypt and the relations between Egypt, China, and the BRICS, anyway. And this is by itself is very good because uh, hopefully Egypt can join the BRICS and take advantage of uh, facilities due to this cooperation. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has been invited to the BRICS summit. We know that Egypt would like to join the bloc, like you mentioned. What's in BRICS for Egypt? Well, usually in joining blocks like this, it is economical. We need investments, direct or through loans, and that's very important for Egypt. We also need uh, uh, cooperation. We have the Suez Canal zone. This will enable the Chinese and the Indian uh, commodities to flow easily and products to flow easily to Europe. For us, we know very well that uh, there is a resistance in the Europeans to any Chinese products. For this way, Egypt could play the role of the mediator and by uh, having many of manufacturing facilities or assembly facilities in Egypt or the Suez Canal, then the product or the final good could be under the name made in Egypt. And this would make uh, easy access to the European Union and to Africa. Now, Egypt has recently won IMF approval following the economic reforms that have been implemented despite the pain on citizens. Would you recommend such measures to other countries to restore economic growth? I think it was very painful. And inflation went very high, more than 30%. It happened, uh, it didn't happen in Egypt for the last 100 years. And what was good for Egypt is not good for other people. I think this experience in Egypt tells us one thing very important. You have to fight corruption. Egypt could have gone through this economic reform with much less pain. If the money we get by stopping corruption, if we get this money, then we can improve our uh, economy. More important uh, is what the Chinese call soft infrastructure. Instead of going to the IMF and the World Bank, which we had to do, more important is to lessen the uh, obstacles or remove the obstacles for business locally or internationally. And this is something that we have to do sooner or later. And that's why I suggest to other countries, first fight corruption and get the money back to the people. The BRICS bloc, while presenting an alternative platform for developing nations, looks like it is facing similar issues faced by other similar organizations. You know, for example, bureaucracy, uh, as has been seen with slow implementation of the BRICS bank, can, it, can this be avoided? Well, you have to understand that the BRICS, uh, four of the countries of the BRICS uh, represent, are in the top 20 economies of the world based on the purchase power parity. Egypt is ranked 21st in the, economy, in the economy of the world in terms of the purchase power parity. What we really need for the BRICS to work out is to ease flow of investment and labor. This is how it can be successful. When, what I mean by that, we need to have special treatments uh, between the uh, communities or the governments in the BRICS, uh, like tax reduction, uh, special treatments, no visas for the businessmen traveling between the BRICS countries and uh, Egypt, 
more important is to listen uh, and to remove the corruption and uh, the non, what we call non-tariff barriers. If we start just with these four countries or five countries and then expand later on, this is a very good opportunity. If any group like the G7, the G20, they were not successful because it became a social gathering. Unless you have economical ties uh, that are improving and easy ease of uh, movement of, of capital, then I think uh, something like BRICS will not be successful as we have seen before in the G20. Ahmed Sufi in Cairo, thank you for joining us.